What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today I'm bringing you a Harley upload for you guys and today's upload is actually a pretty big update to my 2019 Road Glide Special. So many of you that have been following me already know that I have a stage one currently on my 2019 Road Glide here. I have the 114 cubic inch engine. I have Fuel Moto Jackpot 2 into 1 uh, road and track exhaust on here. I have a Roland Sands air cleaner and then I have a tune by Fuel Moto um, and I tune my bike with a DinoJet Power Vision. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. I have a lot of content coming, Harley content coming over the next couple weeks here. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I went ahead and purchased an s and 475C cam kit for my 2019 Road Glide and we're about to put that in today. But before we do that, I have to put the bike up on the floor jack, spin it around, and that way we can have better access to this side of the motor, obviously, because we're going to be working right in here. So um, this is basically where I store my Harley for the winter. I just have a two-car garage in here. I got my truck over here, and then I've got my car here, and then i got a little bit of walking room, and then my Harley. But I'm going to pull the Hellcat out. I'm going to put the bike up on the stand, spin it around so that we're basically working right here under the light and uh, get this cam installed. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step install video for this cam because I've already done that in my previous video, which I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video. If you guys want a how-to step-by-step install video on how to install a cam in a Milwaukee 8 engine, uh, make sure you guys go check out that video. I did a step-by-step, -step, very informative video, showed you guys all the ins and outs and what to do so you guys can do this yourselves in your garage, just like me, instead of taking your bike to a shop and having them do it. But anyway, um, so yeah, today's video I'm basically going to start the bike up, let you guys hear what it sounds like at idle with the stock cam, and then rev it up and let you guys hear what it sounds like, and then basically I will pick the camera back up after we install the cam and, and get some uh, sound clips for you guys, idle, revs. I won't be able to ride it because it is 18 degrees outside today and it's snowing, so I won't be able to take the bike out for rip, I will have to wait until we go down to Daytona in a month. But anyway, let's get the bike up on the stand, take the bags off, take the pipe off, and uh, yeah, let's get to this. So before we get started on the install, I wanna go ahead and show you guys the parts we're gonna be using today. So I have them all laid out. I ended up getting the full kit from s, s That way it comes with everything you need. I didn't just get the cam, I got the cam plate, the oil pump, all the seals, the tappet covers, the push rods, like it comes with everything. So I'm going to go over all these parts and let you guys know what we're going to be installing today. So to start off, I'm just going to show you guys the part number for the s, &S 475C kit. C stands for chain drive. So as you can see here, there's the part number if you guys are interested. I will also leave a link in the description of this video on where you can get all the parts that are installed in today's video. So make sure you guys go check that out. So there's the cam kit there, and I'm going to show you what that includes. That includes your push rods, your push rod covers. I went ahead and went with the black because everything's blacked out on the bike. Um, these are adjustable push rods from s, &S. Um, It comes with your cam plate, which is nice billet anodized piece here. It's amazing work. It looks so sweet. I kind of wish I had a see-through cover, you know, case cover, so that you could see that in there, but... Yeah, that looks sick. It's got s, s engraved on it. And then this here is the s, s oil pump that they provide in this kit. And they also give you some engine assembly lube for both. Right here we have the s, &S tappet cuffs, aluminum pieces here. Right here we have our s, &S tappet set, right there. And then here's the s, &S 475C cam. There's the part number for that if you just want to order the cam and not the full kit. I do recommend ordering this full kit though if you're going to do it. Right here we have a new gasket because you're going to need because you're going to because you're going to need to replace that gasket. And we have some Loctite, we have some blue Loctite and some red Loctite that they provide in this kit. So that's really nice as well. So yeah, you get all this stuff in this SNS kit and there's the part number there for you guys right there. 310-1012A. And that kit, that is for the kit with black push rod covers. You can get this kit with chrome push rod covers, but if you have a special and everything's blacked out, it looks better with the black push rod covers, in my opinion. But that's basically all the parts we're going to install today. Oh, don't let me forget. Right here, 
you might be asking what these are. These are Vivid Black Tappet covers and they come with the gaskets, new gaskets as well. These are an OEM Harley part and here's the part number for that. 257-00890 and these are for gloss black. Now, you might be asking why, why can't you reuse your stock Tappet covers? You very well can, but again, this is a blacked out bike, everything's blacked out. I wanna change the chrome Tappet covers that come stock on the bike, as you can see here. I want to change those out to gloss black to match all the rest of the parts on the bike. So then my chrome push rods are now going to be bl gloss black as well as my tappet covers. So I'm excited to get that on the bike and see what it looks like. I think it's going to look really sharp. So anyway, there's the part number for that if you guys are interested in changing those out. And then it comes with directions, obviously, in the s, &S kit. And then right here from Jim's is a cam bearing removal tool, a bearing puller. And I'll show you guys here what comes in this. So there's directions on how to use this as well, but you do need a bearing puller to get that cam bearing out of the case of the motorcycle. So you have to order, if you're gonna do this at home, you have to order this bearing puller from Jim's or else you will not be able to do this install at home. Alright guys, so I just rolled the bike outside, that way we can go ahead and start it up. I didn't want to have all those fumes in the garage. As you can see, it's cold out, it's like 18 degrees, snow on the ground. And uh, we're going to give you guys a cold start on what this bike sounds like with just a stage one. Stock cam, just a stage one. All right guys, so we got it all buttoned up. As you can see here, we have the new black push rods and the black uh, tappet covers. And we're getting ready to start it up for the first time. Got the exhaust put back on. I didn't put the floorboard or the bag back on yet, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start this thing up for the first time with the SNS 475 cam. All right guys, so here's a cold start with the new SNS 475 C cam.
Well, there you have it, guys. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this cam. I absolutely love the way it sounds. I am so stoked on this, guys. You have no idea. I cannot wait to get the bike down to Daytona and put some miles on it and break it in. I can't obviously ride it right now because I live in Michigan and it's winter and it's like 20 degrees out and snowing. So unfortunately, now I have to watch. Now I have to wait and now I have to wait to ride my bike now that I have this new cam in there. I have to wait until March. I know it's only like a month away, but uh, yeah, it's gonna kill me to you know, watch this bike sit in the corner for the next for the next month because I just want to ride this thing so bad, guys. Like, I am so stoked with how it turned out. Stay tuned for the next video. I have a new air cleaner coming. I know you guys are probably wondering why don't you put your air cleaner on. Well, it's not here yet. I ordered it the other day and it's not here yet, um, but it'll be here in a few days and I'll do an install video on it because there's not very many on YouTube of the air cleaner I got. I'm not gonna tell you which one I went with, but uh, I definitely have a new air cleaner coming. My old air cleaner was this Roland Sands one down here. And uh, it's just nothing wrong with it really. Um, I just wanted something that flows a little bit better now that I'm gonna be pushing more power through the motor. And I just want it to flow better. I want some more airflow going in there. Give me some more horsepower. But yeah, there you have it. SNS 475C kit installed on my 2019 Road Glide Special. This bike is now a stage two which stage two is a tune, air cleaner, pipe, and cam. Stay tuned, I have more updates coming for the Road Glide. But that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.